right. And I know that sounds all wordy, but you know, no, no, no. If you go back in the lessons about secondary dominant. So really, this is not creating blues. Now here we have a maid, wandering mage unit. Very like the Who and bands yeah. like that were bands like that were using this kind of sound. Is this um, a bridge or a chorus? I'm sorry. Is this a bridge or a chorus? It's a bridge. It's a bridge. Okay. Yeah, it's in a way the verse is the chorus because it's got the hook. It's okay. got Oh Darling in it. There know? we go. Okay. Is that something odd for the Beat that the Beatles did often? What? What? To, no, no, not necessarily. No? Okay. You know, but you know, by this time they were. You know, doing all sorts of right. experimentation. They were very informed, actually, in the early days by country music. Yeah. And the kind of, you know, you tell a bit of a story and then you sing the title of the song. And Dylan did this a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. She goes off this, like, you know, uh, Sun was right when you first met, blah, 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 blah. you know, like, uh, da, 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 uh, what song am I thinking? Tangle Up in Blue, where he goes on this long soliloquy of this weird stuff that happens, and then he goes, Tangled Up in Blue, right? right. You know, so, oh yeah, that says it pretty much. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. But also, in, in the past, you've also mentioned that, uh, uh, that country uses sort of blues uh, blues approach or blues licks once in a yeah, while if yeah, nothing else yeah so yeah it it, it infected everything indeed it did indeed <laughs> including it did. <laughs> including what bernstein and <laughs> certainly well, bernstein, and gershwin, gershwin. he's yeah. trying to popularize the blues you know make it legit you know yeah sure um sure the blues is some you know the funny thing about the blues it's got a really relaxed kind of common man feeling yeah. you know regular Joe you know but there's something intensely profound and sophisticated kind of about the blues nonetheless once in a while, yeah and and that I think needs to be explored I, you know it's just a shame to me that you know the blues is just about in its grave now you know mm -hmm. um, I'm just hoping that one day it'll be rediscovered and and employed maybe in a new way that we never even expected that'd be awesome. There is this new kid, this Gary Clark, Jr., who is, he may be a hope for the blues because he's taken all those past masters, but he's doing stuff. That's the idea, <clears throat> you know, do new new stuff. I tell yeah. my young students that like the blues, I tell them, look, you know, find a way to put this into, like, your modern style of sure. music, the thing you like to write. You sure. Know? Um, well, listen, is there, any, uh, is there anything in this song that... Uh, we have yet to kind of... Uh, we haven't done the bridge. We haven't done the bridge. Here we oh, go. Are we, ready? we have five more minutes. Yeah. You good? Yeah. All right, so we... And, um, and rather than going down to the E to start right. the verse again, it's... But when you told me to ask you But instead of going to D now, he goes to B7. He puts the augmented in there. Yeah. Very nice. Um, beautiful. This What's augmented the... just so leads to the A, you know, and it's very blues. Sure. It's the same thing as. Where does the F fit in in the second chord you play in this? That well, thing? the F. Just oh, the regular uh, back, back, back. Right. Okay. up to the F. I like to just bring the E up like this because the note he's hitting is B on both occasions. Okay. Oh, I broke down and cried. Yeah. Uh, and it's got that a bit is of a, a very, Spanish tinge to it. Yeah, Spanish <laughs> tinge, but it's a variant on the F, and the F is the tritone substitution of that B7. Okay. So he could have gone, you know, I nearly broke down much more interesting with the F. Oh, totally, yeah. totally. When he heard the F the first time, I know he thought to himself, you know, i got to stick that in somewhere else, too. Yeah. You know, because it <laughs> comes, told me you didn't need me anymore, comes there first. Right. You didn't need me 
animal. I nearly broke down and cried. He's, he probably, it was just an experiment. I like the sound of that F. Can I stick it in again somewhere? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is a very, very Beatles move right there. Just real sensitivity to what chord am I using and, you know, what kind of sound am I making, you know, by repeating certain chords. Just real. Sure. Completely brilliant. So, again, we have a combination of European and blues within this. Now, bear in mind, you know, here's another thing you should know, that... A lot of the blues is is determined by the melody line alone. Because I could be playing... Which sounds kind of folky, right? Right. But if I say... Da, 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 then I get a bluesy sound using the minor pentatonic against that. Sure. So a lot of the blues can be created just by the melody line. All right. There we are. Um, yeah. So... I think we're good. Do you have any question about any of this? No, this is good. This is good to explore. I, it, there's some stuff that was good to remind me of of, of other lessons early on mm -hmm. along the way.